The Sound Devices 664 Field Production Mixer accepts six mic or line level signals on full-sized XLR connectors. Inputs 1 and 6 support AES-42 and AES-3 digital inputs. These inputs use a transformerless preamp design with integrated analog limiters. These fast-acting limiters with their 20 to 1 ratio and 5 millisecond attack time prevent signal overload, keeping the analog inputs free from distortion. Input levels are set using a two-stage gain control with separate input trim and fader. This topology provides sound engineers with precise level control. Input trims set the overall input level. The fader provides a precise, easy-to-grab adjustment of the amount of signal going to the post-fade output buses. The fader has a sweepable range from completely off to plus 15 dBU. Inputs also have continuously variable pan and high-pass filters. The high-pass filter is electronically located before the preamp and has a sweepable range from 80 Hz to 240 Hz. The high-pass provides the ability to remove unwanted low-end frequencies before they are amplified to maximize preamp headroom. Each input contains a pre-fade listen or solo toggle adjacent to the input controls. Pressing this to the left activates PFL mode, providing isolated headphone monitoring of that input. PFL mode is indicated with the flashing LED above the input. Multiple inputs can be put into PFL mode simultaneously. Moving the PFL switch to the right brings up that input settings on the LCD display. Settings include input type, pre or post fade record options, aux1 and aux2 routing, and left and right track routing. From here, the polarity of inputs 2, 4, and 6 can be reversed. Also located on this display is a meter showing the input's pre-fade level in dBU, plus a numerical value showing where the fader level is set. Stereo pairs can be linked in the inputs option of the setup menu. Both XY and MS linking are available. From the inputs menu, 48 volt or 12 volt phantom power can be selected. Each input has direct outputs on TA3 connectors. The direct outputs can be set to output either pre- or post-fade signal in the menu. Mic or line level outputs can also be selected. This setting change affects all the direct outputs. When the 664 is used with the CL6 input expander, the direct outputs act as six additional line level inputs for a total of 12 analog inputs. The CL6 also provides LED meters for the left, right, aux1 and aux2 channels and large tactile record start and stop buttons. PFL switches are available for each of the additional inputs. While the 664 has extensive input capability with its six inputs, it also has extensive output flexibility. Output connectors consist of two transformer balanced XLR outputs, two 10-pin Hiroshi transformer balanced outputs, two balanced TA3, two additional balanced TA3 for aux outs, and two stereo unbalanced outputs on TA3 and 3.5 millimeter connectors. A link I.O. port is also available for linking multiple mixers. The 664 also has three stereo returns. Return A and C are on the Hiroshi 10 pin connectors. Return B is on its own 3.5 millimeter unbalanced input. Through these return paths, audio being recorded on a camera or external recorder can be monitored and metered. This ensures that good, clean audio is sent to connected hardware. Each of the return meters can be found on the LCD and viewable in two modes. The Outputs menu provides quick access to all of the output options. Options like Output Signal Level for each of the individual outputs, Playback to Output Options, and AES Output Routing. When an output is set to send AES digital audio signals, the AES output routing matrix provides custom output routing flexibility to any of the AES channels. All mixing of analog inputs to analog outputs is done in analog. This includes fader and pan adjustments, 